go, guys. Let's give it one more time for La Santa Cecilia. <laughs> Emily Dickinson once said that nothing in the world has as much power as a word. It's my holy grail, and I couldn't agree with you more, with her more. Words have the ability to transform our imagination. They can take us places. We can meet new people. We can feel their sorrows. We can learn their deepest desires. When a writer has the gift, that's an extraordinary gift. Any writer that can do that, well, that's just amazing. So let's take a look at one such writer. After immigrating from the Dominican Republic, Juno Diaz attended his first day of school in the United States without knowing a single word of English. Despite these odds, Diaz persevered and was eventually accepted to Rutgers University, graduating with a bachelor's degree in history and literature, and later received his MFA in creative writing from Cornell University. His commencement led to the publication of two collections of short stories, Drown and This Is How You Lose Her, both national bestsellers and recipients of critical acclaim. But it was the publication of his novel, The Brief Wondrous Life of Oscar Wow, that won him the Pulitzer Prize for Fiction in 2008 and solidified his position as one of the best writers of the 21st century. A MacArthur Fellow and recipient of the Guggenheim Fellowship, Juno Diaz continues his work teaching creative writing at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology and remains a powerful voice in the fight for immigration rights in the United States and the Dominican Republic. If you know Southwest, then you know that we're more than just an airline. Whether in the air or on the ground, we share our heart by connecting people and championing communities. Tonight, we celebrate the strength and dedication of Latinos whose hard work, cultural pride, and commitment to community has helped shape our society. Each of you has laid the foundation before us and are blazing trails right before our eyes. We believe a community is more than a place. It's at the heart of what brings us together. On behalf of Southwest Airlines and its more than 50,000 employees, congratulations. And now to present the Literature Award, please welcome emerging leading voice in the fight for immigrant rights and the author of My Underground American Dream, Julissa Arce, as well as playwright and actor from HBO's Looking and Netflix Easy, Mi Pana Fuerte, Raul Castillo. Good evening. It takes a powerful voice to spark real change. And no one's voice is as powerful today as our next honorees. Through his incredible stories and his down-to-earth dialogue, Juno Diaz has given the world a true depiction of Latino culture. As a playwright and a storyteller, I am uh, continuously amazed at how Juno Diaz astounds readers and writers like myself with his authenticity and tenacity. I brought my copy of This Is How You Lose Her. I'm hoping to get it signed backstage. Um, there is no doubt in our minds that all of us are standing in front of an American literary icon. It is our honor to present the 2016 Hispanic Heritage Literature Award to Juno Diaz. Please welcome him. <laughs> Thank you, thank you so much. It's a tremendous honor. And of course, uh, Angelica, she let us know. Get our asses out to vote, right? <laughs> she let us know, let us know, yeah. This is a tremendous honor. I wanted to thank um, the Hispanic Heritage Foundation for this honor, for making this evening possible, for all the folks who put this together. Um, you did an enormous amount of anonymous, invisible work. I uh, want to acknowledge that. And I wanted to just, I wanted to dedicate my award to this award. Oh, and also my fellow honorees. Really, when I was told that I was going to be up with Jay Balvin and <laughs> Justice Sotomayor, I was like, my ass is there. 
I'm coming. I'll even buy a tux, you know? So, tremendous honor. So I just, I'm gonna um, read very quickly and short, because otherwise I'll mess it up. Um, I, I wish to dedicate m this award to my Comunidad Latina, to my Comunidad Caribeña, wherever, wherever you may be, especially those of us who are immigrants and especially our undocumented youth, our, our, community, our community is the paragon of strength, of resilience, of creativity. We are the only superpower this country will ever know we survived everything this world threw at us. We survived wars, survived dictators, survived torturers and violence, endless violence and borders, all the damn borders and the loneliness of the newcomers in a new land. We survived the loss of home, the loss of family, the loss of language. We survived no one knowing how to say our names. We survived our parents suffering and our parents' silence and their scars that speak louder than the bombs that put them there. We survived our confusions about who we are in a country that only seems to speak black and white. And we survived not speaking English, survived not speaking Spanish, survived not speaking. And all that damn paperwork, we survived that too. And we, we survived the we survived the ingratitude of the nation where we settled, the nation we helped build and for whom we continuously die. And we survived the infinite heartbreak that is the true story of immigration. And we survived the agony of not knowing how to bear witness to that story and to ourselves. And we survived the hate, the hate that never seems to die, the hate that pretends to be patriotism, that pretends to be security, that pretends to be leadership, a hate that won't listen to reason, to morality, to compassion. We, we survived, we survived it all. We survived it all. We are the people who survive. We survived everything, surviving even the surviving, which is the hardest survival of all. And in the middle of that surviving, some of us even learned how to live. Our story is an epic, a saga, an odyssey. We cross continents and oceans, and every time there was no way, we made a way. We are the children of bridges, bridges made from our backs, our tears, our sacrifices, and from all the ones who never made it across with us. We in the Latino community are among the greatest heroes our world has known, and yet despite all we do and all we are, we find ourselves attacked and demonized and endangered, not just in this country, all over the world. Communities like ours are under assault, and this is why we cannot just survive or live. We have to fight for justice. We have to fight for equality. All of us must be free. All of us must be free. All of us must be free or none. Thank you.